Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Sunday, October 9th, 2016 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I respond to the universal flow with harmony. And today we're finishing up this moon in Capricorn trek with all these, you know, Capricorn Libra squares. We actually don't have Capricorn Libra squares today. We have a Capricorn Aries square today and then we're done for a little bit with some of the turmoil <laughs> that that energy brought, the turmoil and like, what is, what's my leader? What's the right way? Which is the right way to go? All those control issues that came up through this transit. We have a little bit more of that today with the moon squaring Uranus in Aries, 22 degrees, master level energy, master level lessons in this. And Uranus in Aries is retrograde right now, taking us internally and being like, well, who are you really? And are you really taking action according to that. Um, you know, and what came up around this is actually um, that Rumi poem, the Rumi verse that I love, out beyond the ideas of right doing and wrong doing, there's a field, I'll meet you there. That's what your spirit, that's what your soul, that's what your higher self is saying to you right now in regards to the square. Capricorn energy right now with Pluto going through it from 20, uh, 2008 until like 2021 20, or something, we have this energy going through major shifts. It takes a long time to shift the structure of things, especially if we're going to do it right. And Capricorn's like, we're going to get this right. We're going to get a new perfect, maybe not perfect, but we're going to get a new solid foundation under us. And so as we work with this, we have to go within ourselves, look at those old patterns, those old structures, those old things that no longer serve us and be like, that's not who I am that served me at one time. It's taught me lessons. That's not in my highest best anymore. What is in my highest and best now in this moment? And so we're working with that. And this does require that, you know, four degree energy, the 22, which is a four, that Uranus energy of, you know, shaking off the old, <laughs> shake it out, shake off those old, the old way of being. What is new for you in this moment? Again, don't get caught up in the what's right, what's wrong, what's true, what's true for you. Um, so also today, this happens actually before it, but you know, still, still important and still valid, even though it may be happening while some of us are sleeping, we have the moon connecting to Venus. And Venus is in Scorpio, helping dig up some of those old patterns. Now what I love is that this is happening at 19 degrees, that's that 10 degree energy, which reminds us of our worth. You are a 10. <laughs> um, and so anything that's surfacing, you know, love yourself through it. We do not, we did not and do not come to be perfect. We do not come to be, uh, you know, sparkling crystals at every moment. There are inclusions and rainbows and shadows, all kinds of things that give us dimension. So love yourself through all of those dimensions. Again, beyond right doing and wrong doing, there's a feel I'll meet you there. I always like the saying, like if we all got together and like told each other um, the things that we hated about ourselves, the things we were ashamed about ourselves, the things that we've done wrong, we'd be bored to death because we all have these similar things and yet we hold them in with these these this shadow energy deep within us like oh if anybody knew they would never love me um so there's that hold your hold yourself through that and shake off the old way of being that moon and capricorn saying shake off that old way of being where that did let you hold yourself back from being loved and instead Find your harmony with it. Find your harmony in this moment. The moon is going to then be void moon through most of the day, which kind of leads to that tired, not really sure where I'm going kind of feeling. I think that's good. I think we need a little bit of that flow. After this strong Capricorn energy that we work through, we need to be in this moment to moment energy. I have the playfulness card. Bring in some playfulness. One of the things that's been in my head as I've been doing this uh, horoscope is Abraham quote, I believe I'm in receptive mode and I'm listening. A lot of times what we need to get into that receptivity mode is that energy of playfulness, is that energy of like, yes, what's good in this moment? What feels good? And then we can be like, and to the next moment, what feels good in this moment? I want to feel good. What feels good may be taking a rest. Your mind, especially after all these games, after looking at all these morals, <laughs> all the rights, wrongs, shoulds, shouldn'ts, um, the storm, everything that's gone on over these last few days, all the political stuff going on, 
you may need to take a rest. That may be your playful thing to be snuggled in bed with your kitties <laughs> or your doggies or your salamanders, whatever, <laughs> or your stuffed animals or your honey. I've got the friendliness card. So today may be a nice day to like connect with somebody that you love, somebody that's supportive of you, who supports you from the roots up, somebody who's on your team. Um, Moon's going to shift into Aquarius, which is going to bring some beautiful downloads in after all of this chaos. It's not going to happen until late night. This may be coming through your dreams. So pay attention to your dreams that happen after this day because those downloads are coming. Um, from the Keepers of the Light, I have my lady, Mary Magdalene, and it says, You have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. Don't let those shoulds and shouldn'ts and I'm not good enough stop you. Follow the inner call. Call. We are all teachers. We are all teachers to and for each other. And the other card that I have, I love, um, the Trilogy of Light. It says the image on this card symbolizes the template of creation. Energy spiraling into formation drops down into consciousness. If you've chosen this card today, be aware that the wheel is set in motion. Abstract ideas that you've had floating around in your subconscious is about to surface into your conscious mind. There's those downloads coming in with this Aquarius energy coming in. Pay attention to new ideas over the coming days. One of these ideas is the seed for a beginning of something completely new. So, if that impulse comes, follow the call. Have fun, enjoy, get into that receptive mode, and know how beautiful you are. If you'd like to book a reading, you can do that at GaiaBlooming.com, and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.